Hi, it's Rick Hansen, and every night I play your songs with rock and roll on demand. Call us anytime, day or night, 206-494-2095, and I'll play your songs 7 to midnight on KJR-FM. Are you ready for another long set of rock and roll's greatest hits? Oh, yeah, I like this idea. We thought so. KJR Seattle, Five point seven KJR FM, Seattle. comes right on schedule of course you kind of have to take uh, somebody's word for that because it is uh, a little bit a uh, little bit cloudy out there the largest city not in population but in area in our united states that is my question we will take your answer and a correct one i bet it will be within moments i-90 issaquah Okay, let's see if we can uh, get an answer to our question this morning. This is for a pair of tickets to see Rod Stewart in person, live at the Key Arena, and that's going to be happening next month. Here's the question this morning. What is the largest U.S. city in area? In not, not necessarily population, but... I instantly thought population. In area, yeah. So, I, but, so we're pretty clear about it. That's what we're looking for. Which is U.S. city sprawls the farthest? Okay, let's go to the phones. Hi. So biggest, like the property is biggest property, right? Well, yeah, area. <laughs> area in the United States. Uh, California? No, it's not California. And it's not, not. Last time I checked, that wasn't a city. No. KJR FM. What did you know? How did you know that? I don't know. My husband helped me. <laughs> well, your husband's pretty dang smart. It is Juno. Oh, great. It's Juno, Alaska. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, New York City, for example, has 298 square miles. Uh-huh. Juno has over 3,000 square miles oh, wow. in its official city limits. Congratulations. What's your name? Judy. Judy, con- hang on. You're, you're the winner. All right, thanks. Oh, she's pretty smart. Her husband's pretty smart. Yeah, there, hopefully enjoy that Rod Stewart show. Got a, quick, got a quick question for you, Angela. Huh? Answer as fast as you can. Okay. Where's Oklahoma City located? Oklahoma. Where's Kansas City located? Kansas City. Where's Virginia City located? Nevada. Good girl. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second. I thought, Virginia's not right. Good job. Uh, how, are the, how are the roads? You know, they're in pretty good shape. Arlington, the courtesy of Macy's. March Madness. Shoot a three at Macy's. Buy two men's jockey class underwear, three packs, and get one free. Three pack briefs, tag free tees, and more. Through April 3rd, jockey at Macy's. It's the way to shop. I wear all three at the same time. KJR Seattle. It's rock and roll's greatest hits. KJR Seattle, Channel 95.7. 
In the middle, with you. This is 95.7 KJRFM, Rock and Roll's Greatest Hits. I'm Pat Cashman. It's 627. Angela Kirby is here as well. And on uh, Sunday, it's finally at hand. The big climb for leukemia coming up. And we would uh, love for you to join us. What happens is a bunch of people uh, of all ages, all size, all leg lengths, walk or run up 69 flights of stairs at the Bank of America Tower. All of it, of course, to benefit leukemia and lymphoma research. If you want more details, go to our website, 957kjrfm.com, and we hope to see you there. I'm Pat Cashman. Today, I almost forgot this this morning, is my my final day here at KJRFM. And uh, thanks to a lot of people who've sent uh, a lot of nice messages and uh, other kind words my way. I've had a wonderful time here, and it is uh, time, as they say, to uh, to move on. I've enjoyed writing in this big old KJRFM bus, but that's my stop up ahead. He's getting off the bus, people. One of my favorite callers, uh, there's so many favorites, but uh, this is somebody that, uh, you know, I've done uh, some other radio shows. This is somebody that came along exclusively to KJRFM once I started this show. Never never heard uh, really? from this caller before. And uh, it, and became just one of the all-time greats. And usually, well, frequently, I should say, we will record phone calls, mm -hmm. and then I'll play them back. I'll edit them up you sometimes, yeah. you know, what have you, and put it on the air after the fact. But coming on with me live right now. Oh God! So this is crossing uh, my fingers. But I, I've I've been talking to her for longer than you, so I know she's this, not gonna. This this is my last day, regardless. Uh, so what what the heck? Oh. That's a good point. It's our friend Sharon. Good morning. Good morning, Pat. What's going on? What is going on, Sharon? Pat and Angela. Hey. Sharon, by the way, uh, has her own sound effects. That echo you hear is not generated by us. That's generated mm -hmm. by her. And what are you using to do that, Sharon? Well, I'm in a huge room with no furniture. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? Lay a few on us this morning. We always count on you for some quick one-liners or jokes. Okay, uh, what is the best thing about being a kleptomaniac? What is the best thing about being a kleptomaniac? Well, you can always take something for it. <laughs> uh, okay, what else? If you're just joining us, Sharon is on the line. <laughs> hey, and Pat, Ralph, well, yeah. what are you going to do on all your free time? Oh, there won't be any free time. Uh, well, I know. I've seen you. One day I saw you, like, you know, you're on the radio, and then you're on, like, Evening Magazine, and then you're, like, on the Almost Live. I mean. Yeah, and I got a couple other gigs. I'm, I'm oh, working. you do? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a food tester for the Alpo factory. Wow. I just got that job. I'm really looking forward to that. And um, I'm also uh, going to be working down at uh, Pacific Produce Company, picking lint out of Naval Oranges. Right on. So I've got, I've got some stuff going down. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be completely... Without prospects here. Well, right on, Crouton. Now, um, <laughs> what do you call? Uh, why did the dog get kicked out of the uh, flea circus? Why did the dog get kicked out of the flea circus? Well, because she stole the show. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, now I've asked you this before. What is it? You are. Uh, you come on the radio uh -huh. without the benefit of any mind-altering uh, products whatsoever. This is just you, right? Oh, yeah, this is me, babe. You're just a... Uh, this is the real deal. A wild, <laughs> free spirit. Well, it's been a really great pleasure uh, to, uh, talking to you over these uh, the last couple of years. And can you give us one uh, departing uh, hilarity that, that I'll be able to take with me? Okay, sure. All right, here we, here we go. All right. Um, are, you, are you working from a book right now? No, uh, okay. I'm calling my head. Now, pick a subject. Now. Pick a subject? Yeah. Uh, baseball. We're about uh, about to uh, play baseball. Season's going to open soon. Okay. How about baseball? Baseball. Okay. This young boy takes his uh, date on his first date to the baseball game. Okay. And they're sitting in their seats, and he says, uh, "You know, honey, that the 
center fielder will be our best man by the end of the season. And she says, oh, honey, this is so, this is so sudden. I do. <laughs> and then he gave her the baseball diamonds. <laughs> Unstop.